No date has been set for the prosecutors to decide on charges against the former porn movie duo who were caught giving lessons on seduction in the Patia Hotel. With a woman claiming that she has secrets of interest to the US, gleaned while acting as a paid escort to a Russian businessman, the US Embassy is keeping shtum about requests to meet with her, which have been denied. And the duo claims that they won't last five minutes in Russia. It's no wonder that Thailand is taking its time as they face deportation. Cat and mouse operations from both Russia and the United States have taken a seedy story to global headlines. Within the United States, this story aside, much is being made of the recent promotion of the head of the CIA. That's a woman who operated illegally in Thailand during the Bush era, responsible for a secret and illegal torture center that carried out waterboarding and more, which of course was against the law on United States soil. The CIA is a global espionage operation that saw its presence here restricted by the current Thai government several years ago. The Thai tourist police have put warnings on social media for women falling in love online. Showing the fake profile of a young, handsome white man, perhaps in uniform, they move through a scenario that shows him asking for a small loan. This before a final picture of what's likely to be reality, a chap closer associated with the Nigerian type of scams, and the advisory that middle-aged women are often too easy a target. In Nong Kai, a Thai man who discovered his ex was out on a date turned up at the venue along with a gun. He duly shot his own son and the ex before stabbing her new beau. He's now safely behind bars. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, water supplies are set to be turned off for much of the city today as repairs are carried out on main pipes. Residents are recommended to top up storage tanks as affected areas could see water off until tomorrow. City Hall Council plans to reinforce the smoking bans on certain beaches from April the 2nd, reducing fines to 2,000 baht, but introducing fag spotters, authorised ticketers who will be checking beaches and giving out fines for smokers, along with litter droppers and pet owners who take dogs onto areas where they're banned. A Qatari national and his Thai girlfriend have been nabbed in Banglamung after being recognized as having robbed a gold shop of some 3 million bahts worth of gold. A raid on their home revealed the gold still intact, and their only mistake was renting a car, as it had a tracker unit installed, which meant that he would be swapping his gold bars for those of the local jailhouse. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 24, an overcast day with a chance of showers at some point, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun.